Hello guys, welcome to the channel for many and today's video we are doing a tips, tricks, hidden videos and settings of video of the IQ Neo 9 Pro and this is the 12 gb flash variant of the IQ Neo 9 Pro in the fire red color. So guys, let's get started. Let's start off with the most interesting features. Suppose if I'm a Call of Duty gamer and I need to open Call of Duty at the very instant, I need to just press and hold the volume down button, you can see, and I need to use my fingerprint and you can see instantly the call of duty arrived and you can see and the next way is if i need to turn on the camera just double press the volume down key you can see instantly the camera has arrived and if you want to turn on the flashlight just shake your phone instantly the flashlight will be turned on how to set this up first of all just go to settings settings and just scroll down to find this option shortcut in activity and over here you can see quick action just tap over here and this is the feature just tap open app so you can set to any app which is installed on your phone and this is a quick action feature that means when you just press and hold the volume down button instantly it would open any app which is installed on your phone the next thing is quick action for camera that means this is the feature that means double press the volume down button when the phone is locked instantly opens the camera and next is over here that is the uh, smart motion and you can see shake to turn on flashlight just shake your phone in the home screen or lock screen instantly turns on your flashlight so that's it now let's check out some basic features starting off the split screen that means opening two apps at the same page so let it be you are in crop and you need to open another application in the same page itself just three finger swipe up select the next application which you need so you are good to go using the same application youtube along with that you can use the crop at the same time so this is the split screen and next is a small window that means so if you are in chrome let it be you are in chrome and you need to open another application but in a small window so you can do in two ways either you can just be on the reasons and just tap this icon and you can see small window just tap this icon you can see a small window appears and even you can increase or decrease size like this and you can make it a very mini window once you give your tap you can see it is back to the normal size and if you want to increase the size just tap this left corner icon it will be increasing the size and again if you just small window if you want to make it a small edge like icon just tap the minus and it should be like a small edge icon meanwhile you can use any of the applications and whenever you need the alternate app just give a tap automatically the app would be here so using two apps at the same time which is really good next is if you are in the crop and you need to open another application usually we do like this we just tap the home and just go to app drawer and select the application no need for that just be on your application itself and just give a slide on over here and you can see a bar this is like an edge panel and if you tap over here lot of applications will be listed as you select so how to set this up again going to settings settings and just scroll down shortcuts in XVD, and you can see smart sidebar or i would call it as edge panel so just give a swipe over here and you can just tap this icon and you can see an edit icon select the applications which you frequently use or most use and like this and unselect the application from here which you don't use like notes netflix slides true color and all and select the application which you frequently use like yt music uh drive and all so this is and in this way you can customize and select your favorite applications only one more thing is there so for example if you're in chrome and if you want to open youtube but won't distract this app this app whenever you open any application in this smart sidebar it would automatically open a small pop window which is a really good thing you can see it won't distract the current looking of your application and meanwhile you can use both this application which is really cool so it be like this so let's go back to the same location so we have discussed the smart sidebar next is s capture really simple just three fingers swipe down is a screenshot so that's the s capture what are the ways to unlock a phone fingerprint unlock face unlock pin and all but there is an alternate one just pick up your phone instantly the phone would be unlocked see really fast now how to set this up just go to settings settings and just scroll down and you can see security and over here just enable your face reduction so i am typing my pin and you can see stay on lock screen after unlocking this would be by default turn on just turn this off and along with that you need to enable one more feature that would be in this shortcut flexibility just tap over here and you can see smart portion just tap over here and just tap smart screen on and off and turn on raise to it what happens is whenever you lift your phone up instantly with the help of the raise to it feature the phone would be 
turned on and whenever your face is detected instantly the phone would be unlocked so these two features combine to make this seamless unlocking and next is some basic features like double tap to wake see if your phone is locked like this just give a double tap instantly wakes up your phone and next one is double tap to turn off just double tap turn off keep screen on while looking that means if your screen time of is let's say 30 seconds but if you're reading a big paragraph but without scrolling but still if you are looking on the phone the phone would not be go to sleep so that's the keep screen on while looking so that which is can you can turn on and next is a lot of smart calling features i would recommend just make sure you just how easy this is going on with your day-to-day -day usage and then only you need to turn on this feature starting off from the smart call that means if a contact is in here that means suppose it's a phone mania contact and it have a number and just whenever that contact is on the on the phone just lift up your phone to here instantly it gives a call to the exact contact over here displayed over here so that is a smart call next is smart answer that means when you are receiving a call just lift your phone to the ear automatically answers the call that's the smart and then this smart switch which means if you are in speaker and some uh, unexpectedly some third party which is a stranger to you just comes into your room and just you need to just pick up your phone directly to the ear automatically the sound would be changed from loudspeaker directly to earpiece so that is a smart switch. next is smart mute that means when you are receiving incoming like in office or somewhere or in a devotional place and all so just give your palm on the top of your phone instantly mutes the call but my favorite is flip to mute incoming calls that means when you're receiving incoming call just flip over your phone like this instantly the call would be muted and next wave to hands to that means when you're receiving incoming call just wave your hand like this instantly the call would be answered so a lot of calling features are over here in this smart uh, motion section next is press and hold emergency menu now i will show you by default it would be on launch google assistant but i need to recommend you need to switch enable the power emergency menu there is one more reason why i say so you can see so if my phone is just locked like this and i can just if you are asleep suppose if you are in a stranger's house and you are not well aware of those people some yes some of of them are your friends but some are not so you have a tension that someone might access your fingerprint when you are sleeping like this so so let me be like this so you can just see and phone is unlocked so you are uh, just confused or tensed about that so no need to worry just press and hold on the power button and you can see a lock now mode so just tap the lock now what happens is now you some not able to use your fingerprint or face direction only this one can be unlocked with this pin so once it is unlocked with the pin you can just go back and say you you can use your fingerprint scanner or your face direction and all like this but once you turn on the lock now mode only the fingerprint scanner and the face direction won't work only this a pin will be working like this and you are good to go so make sure you enable this when you are in the, such location would be locking your phone double tap the lock yes that's one way and another way is just pressing the power button i would say there is one more way press the power button virtually what wait what yes i am going to press the power button virtually not like this but on the screen you can see instantly the phone is locked so i will show you and I can use the power button to open the menu. Just double tap the power button virtually. Double tap. You can see a menu appears. How to set this up? So just go to settings like this settings and just scroll down to find shortcut accessibility. And this is a feature I have been using easy touch. Yes. And you can just tap the customize menu. And this feature is mostly used for the shortcuts, not for the apps. Yes, you can definitely use nine of the applications, but I would recommend for the apps, you can literally use this guy. That is called the smart sidebar you can literally use so much of application can be used so you can literally use this guy for the applications but for the favorite shortcuts you can definitely use this just tap just double tap for this set of usage and all and select the shortcuts which you need so you can see a volume down volume minus and you can select up to nine of them and how do i customize you can see i just customize tap to log screen double tap to open window. so when i tap once it would be automatically locking my phone see lock my phone and if i just double tap it would open the menu double tap open the menu and you can customize it in different way just tap you can assign to any of the other functions so let me let it be open menu and let it be double tap to screenshots so whenever you give a double tap over here it would automatically take a screenshot so a lot of customization are there and you can just tap and hold to another feature okay and one more thing is there so how do i set up so if i auto hide after three seconds of inactivity is turned off it would always appear like a bubble over here and if the opacity is maximum it you can see literally 
uh, feel a hindrance because of this icon so what i do is i just place this i can exit to the power button i just turn on auto hide after three seconds of inactivity and this opacity to the lowest now it is almost invisible as you guys can see it is almost invisible so place this exact location of the power button so you can find it with easy see now you can see it with blends with the power button so isn't it really cool so this is the easy touch feature and next is the one handed mode so how to enable just swipe left swipe right see simple and you can just increase or decrease size like this see so that is the one handed mode and uh, next we are going to flash notification that means when you are using some incoming notification just your rear camera flash will blink then i would recommend few more settings which you need to turn on so that's in the accessibility just on the below and you can see extra dim so by default this option wouldn't be shown over here so you need to go to this accessibility location manually and once you turn on a single time automatically it would be added to this location so let's see you can see extra dim would be added over here so what is essentially this extra dim so if i just turn off the bright auto brightness and just give the brightness to the maximum and once i turn you can literally feel the difference if i just turn off the extra dim you can see the harsh light is coming to the eyes but once you turn on the extra dim yes the brightness is maintained on the phone but the harsh light to outside wouldn't be happen so you can see turn off you can see harsh light is coming and once i turn on you can see that brightness is main but that brightness is not coming out of the phone so that is literally this extra dim option you can see i am currently using this button navigation but if you need to enable the gesture navigation just go to system and you can tap the three button navigation and you can see gesture navigation just tap over here how to go home just swipe for the home and just swipe up and stop at the middle for the reasons and to go back or either a left swipe or a right swipe so this is really good cool. And the best part is switching between the apps is like scrolling photos to the gallery. You can see, you can switch between the apps like this. See, wow, really cool, right? Yeah. So again, going to the same location, that's the system. And apart from that, you can see a few more options like you can see multiple users. That means you can create a guest or like if you just tap the add user, just turn on. I would be typing guest. So creating a new guest and switch to guest set up now get started now you can see the guest mode is turned on and you can see no application which you have installed on your primary section wouldn't be over here and no files would be contained no gallery would contain data nothing this is completely like a fresh phone and not even having a google account also and how to go back just again go into settings and just again go into the same location system and just again going to the uh, multiple users and now you is the guest and just tap the owner switch to owner now it would be asking your pin see it would be asking your main pin and you need to use the main pin and automatically it would go back to your normal phone and you can, can see all the data which is installed on phone is back on your phone so whenever you are giving your phone to third party just make sure just go to settings and just go to system and just go to the multiple users and just tap the guest and just switch to guest and one more thing is that turn on phone calls and sms just turn it on if you want them to use your phone calls and text the make sure one thing is that with just your phone dialer someone can access all it like if you are giving phone to some other person for just a call but they can dial some codes like hash and some codes and from that it all the messages or calls which would be coming to your phone would be redirected or forwarded to the number they dial so always be careful while giving phone to the others and always be on the eyesight with your phone itself so be careful guys okay so this is one thing so you need to set up this right now itself when you are watching this video right now itself you set up the phone that that's why when you are someone asking your phone just give the phone in the guest mode itself so that's the multiple users so you need to turn that feature also and next is the phone clone this is so if you are having some old android device and switching enter data to this phone and install the same application phone clone application on the old phone and just have the this phone and set this as the new device and the old phone as the old device and would transfer it to user data including your messages calls everything and all so that's the phone clone feature now let's move to the feature that most of you guys are waiting for that's the app lock app hide along with that the dual app so just go to the settings and just tap the security and just you can see privacy and app permission you can see app encryption and app hiding app encryption is the 
app lock and app hiding is the hiding of the application so you can set the privacy password just tap the privacy password and just tap pattern and you can set a pattern like this and answering some random and it's done and you can see app emigration so i'm just locking two of the application that should be uh albums and uh chrome so okay i'm done and now if i just go to the chrome you can see that it is locked and i need to use my pattern to unlock and it asks whether whether it want to use your fingerprint scanner or face recognition so just turn on and from the very next time it can use my fingerprint scanner or face recognition for the uh, unlocking so you can see it is using my face and you can see each and every time it is locked so how to set this up by default it would be on i would show you app emigration you can see by default it would be on one minute after the screen is lock or app is closed you need to set this to when the screen is locked or the app is closed that means each and every time when you exit the app all the application will be go back to the locked way so and to unhide uh, unlock just disable you are good to go next is app hiding how to hide applications so if you and i'm gonna hide these two games so hiding these two games and how to access this you need to turn on view hidden apps now just two finger swipe up on the home screen you can see it asks for my face recognition and you can see instantly your hidden apps will be here so this is really quick and fast way to do this so again go to the app hiding and just disable now you're good to go and the next thing is the dual app so it's not over here it's in the apps and you can see app clone just tap the app clone and you can see if you turn on this what happens is facebook one along with facebook 2 is created creating app clone and the same way all the list of applications supported dual app would be listed over here and you can see facebook one along with facebook two will be created facebook one and facebook two so you are good to go with this two set of applications so that's it and next is the notification so that means if someone sends you a whatsapp message and mobile data or wi-fi was turned down on your phone that's why the messages had received but even before you read the message the message was deleted for everyone by the center so no need to worry just go to the notifications and tap the notification history and just turn it on and you can now see all the notifications which is over here would be listed with the exact timestamp you can see with the exact timestamps all the notifications would be listed over here so you won't miss any notifications no need to worry on such things so that's the notification history and apart from that you can see ram and storage and you can see out of this is a 12 gb to fetch variant and you can see 7.40 gb is already used and out of this 12 gb and this can be external up to 12 plus 12 gb you can see external ram and if you turn on this then you can effectively use 24 gb ram but the 12 gb would be used from your internal storage now let's do the lock screen wallpaper so just tap over here and you can see you can just set a lot of wallpapers are there by default and you can set a lot of themes and you can download even more and you can have the always on display so you need to just turn on the always on display and you can have a lot of styles you can see lots of styles which is really cool styles are there and this is one among, one among my favorite and just tap apply you are good to go and along with that display mode these are the three set of options if you want to display this always display all the time they need to display all day and if you want to schedule from time to some people need always display from the time they go to bed and the time you they wake up so they can set the start time and end time like this and one more way is there like uh, that means just move the phone slightly to show that's would be the best part and i would show you so you can see this one but after a few seconds it would be gone and just move your phone slightly it would automatically show and one more feature you need to turn on uh, is this feature always on display for new, new notifications that means whenever you are seeing a new notification that is always on display will be turned on and whenever you just unlock and clear the notification again the always on display would be off and again when you receive no new notification then then again the always on display would be turned on so you get an idea whenever the always on display is turned so i oh yes i have received some new notifications so you are getting a few ideas on that too and apart from that we have some colors you can see currently the green color is there and if you want to change to some uh something like this uh, let it be this color and you can see now the color is changed to this color and you can have some color palette options or pick colors from wallpaper so a lot of uh, things are going on over there so you need to enable this system ui and color to make this adjustment see if you turn on this then only you can adjust this colors and all next is the lock screen settings so just tap over here and you can see custom lock screen and this is having an ios level of customization. if you just tap over you can see these styles are directly taken from the ios and you can see this is really a good thing because the best part of like the samsung ui is this edge 
panel is taken so these and the customization of this ios is taken so which is a really good part and you can see blend colors options are there and uh, one more thing is that that means quick information you can just add a signature my favorite is gold is love so i'm just writing gold is love and just okay and you can now see apply and whenever i just lock my phone you can see 644 code is love so it's taken and next is a lock screen post that means whenever your phone is locked each and every time when you unlock the phone it will display new new wallpapers in the lock screen that means called dynamic lock screen so that option is also there and next is a home screen settings so this is a home screen style you can have a drawer mode and along with the standard mode drawer mode means with the app launcher and standard mode means without any app launcher so i would definitely recommend the drawer mode only next is uh, sliding effects that means if you are using some third party applications then you can see like you can switch like this like the nova launcher and all so you can just make use of this one so it's upon your preference if you like this you can just set it up and that's it, the home screen sliding transitions and next is my best part is this guy that means swipe down on on home screen by default it would be on global search that means if you just give a swipe down automatically this global search which appears which is of no use so just go back and just press and hold home screen settings and just go to a swipe downwards on home screen and just switch to notification center and now with just one hand you can make use of this notification panel down and adjust this so which is a really good part and next is the customization of the font that is in the dynamic effects you can see there is a lot of options like enhanced dynamic effects option then touch screen animation but it would use a bit of battery extra and next is ambient light effects or we can say it as uh, edge lighting and it's have a lot of features for example this is the one plus 12 r over here and if you look at the customization of this one plus 12 r you can see it is of a very limited customization so it's show wallpaper and style edge lighting see just one two three just three only three but if you just check it out on the iq you can see one two three four five six and not even that you can set the color transparency you can set to any color so you can see high level of into 100 this into 100 level of customization on the iq neon 9 pro which is and you can set the transparency with everything so a lot of uh, additional features are going on over there with this uh, uh, iq and this is the same as the samsung does and in the same thing you can just in done in the always on display screen or in the normal screen so that is the ambient light effects and after that again a third party type of launcher things that is the fly out fly in i would show you once so i just click apply so this page have a lot of icons you can see once i unlock you can see it's a fly out type of animation going on so that's it the home screen entering animation and next is fingerprint icon animation Currently, if you see, this is the icon animation, and if I just switch to this, is one among my favorite. So I need to switch apply, and now you can see this is changed to the application. And one more thing, unlocking animation. So this is the recognition animation, and you can see lot of wow. See, let me put a non recognizable finger. You can see wow. So and uh, you can have a lot of just check it out and do your favorite one. And next is the face recognition animation. So currently, you can see this is animation and you can set to other one like this one let it be this one and apply now let me see see wow so a lot of customization are go, going on over there and then the charging animation usb insert animation everything is there charging animation is super cool lot of super cool animations are there so just check it out and use and next is sound and vibration and here on the bottom you can see touch vibration or you can see haptic vibration by default it would be on medium but if you want to enjoy the maximum haptics just switch to high for the maximum intensive and really cool haptics and uh, next is sound quality and effects and you can have the audio super resolution feature and along with that you can have the super audio feature next is the best part of the phone that's the gaming so you can see ultra game mode so you can see it is already turned on and you can see literally an icon over here it try and you can see starting off by default it would be on balance mode but switch to the monster mode for the maximum performance and you can he see 4d game that means if you are shooting then you are getting an intense haptic vibration feedback from those locations so that's it and then we have an es sports mode which is of uh blog notifications uh, giving background calls and all and then we and enhanced performance and then we have the voice changer mode so a lot of voice effects are there and then apart from that we have game super resolution that means enhancing the game 
uh, games resolution and all and but actually it would consume a bit battery and it would the phone would be a bit warm also and then apart from that we have the control settings over there so that means super touch so once you turn on you can enable super touch and also the tap sensitivity swipe response and also a lot of in game customizations and then we have the game uh, display enhancement you can see image and that means a bit more vibrance to the scenes and all and apart from that we have the game frame interpolation and you can see maximum frame rate of the 144 hertz can be achieved over here and apart from that we have off screen autoplay screenshots and record screen for this single option over there and one more thing which you need to go is the display settings so just go to settings and just go to the display and starting off we have the eye protection mode that means whenever you are using your phone without light turn down your phone you need to enable this feature just turn on the eye protection mode and make use of this intensity that like which is more comfortable for you just use it by just adjusting these filters and all and even you like turn on anti fatigue brightness mode also so this is based on your preference and just adjust it based on your likes and next is a the dark theme and you can just set it from time to time or always just turn it on or you can just custom it from sunset sunrise or giving a custom type so that's a dark mode and next is screen colors by default it would be on standard but for the maximum vibrancy i would recommend to keep it on the bright for the maximum vibrancy and next is the font and display size you can increase the display sizes or display size along with the font size like this and if you want bold text just turn this on for the bold text and for the high contrast just turn this on so that that's are just basic settings and apart from that we have phone styles so you can see basic and if you want more just can download and apart from that we have status bar and if you want to show the real-time download speed and all just turn on this feature now you can see the upload speed and download speed will be shown over there and next is battery style and percentage so if you don't need the battery displayed over there then do not display and if you need display outside the battery and you can set the uh, either landscape circle or vertical so it's upon your personal preference and you can set it up that also this is screen resolution mode actually by default it is on 1.5k display but you can set it to the default fhd 24001080 and it would only uh, consume a bit less battery than the super resolution uh, 1.5k display that's you can customize it but i would recommend keep it on the maximum and next is the screen refresh rate it is currently on smart so that means based on the application you see it would automatically adjust between 60 or 144 hertz and at any moment you feel that it is not on 144 hertz then you can di directly switch to high for the 144 hertz refresh rate on this phone and apart from that we have some ai effects like visual enhance that means enhancing the colors of the and contrast of the pictures and videos for a bit better vibrancy and all that is the visual enhance and then next is mems that means adding some extra frames with the help of AI to make the scene or the video much smoother that's the memc and super resolution that means enhancing a bit more resolution to the normal video so this entire thing can be done with the help of AI. so that features is also available next that directly go to the camera starting off we have a snapshot mode over here and then we have the night mode and which you can see 0.661 next to x and maximum up to 20x and over here you can see you can turn on the panorama night mode along exposure mode super moon mode over there and in portrait you can see you can just do 1x and 2x option and you can see adjust the bokeh and all and apart from that you can just have some lot of styles like smooth skin tone widening frontal expressions postures even you can see you can set the postures also and you can just have some premium styles like natural panning vintage and all so it's upon based on your preference and apart from that we have the photo mode from you know, 0 0.661 x 2x and directly up to 20x and also we are here we are getting some car style like vivid textured or natural so you can just do it based upon your personal preference and in video you can maximum record 8k at 30 fps and 4k at 60 fps and the best part is you can have the stabilization even on the 4k at 60 fps but for the ultra stabilization you will be only getting 100p at 60 fps and in more we have 50 mb high resolution mode panoramic mode ultra hd document slow motion modes time lapse long exposure super moon mode and pro mode that means manually adjusting aperture iso white balance for the best shot so guys that was it for another tips tricks and videos and settings video of the iq neo 9 pro so guys that's it today signing off it's for mania